Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about one of the drawing tools that is part of the Stitch Artist um, program. It's in all the three levels and it's called the Three Point Arc Tool. Now this tool is a geometric drawing tool in that it allows you to create perfect arcs. So it, and as you can see from my pictures, it's, they can either be a slightly pointed or they can be rounded. So it does all depends on how you are drawing and using the shape. So we're going to, let's, let's pop into the software and I will show you how the tool works and then a couple ways on how to use the tool to create different looks such as these that I'm showing here. So here we are in the software and let's see if I can stop that. There we go. <laughs> okay. So these are the samples that I had showing in the upper left corner. And as you can see, each one of them, whatever line, and I, I didn't do any fill stitches. I wanted you to be able to see what the objects were. They are all perfect arcs. So they have two points and then the third point is where you're dragging out the distance from the first two points. So you're drawing a point from this point to here, this to here. So you're drawing a line to create one, two points. And then your third point is you're clicking to create the depth of that arc. So in this example, you have shallow. So it would be click, 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 the word three point arc to create a small shallow. And the same clicking on from this side to this side is the same, but you're dragging, you're creating the depth out further. I know, sounds kind of confusing. And sometimes that's why a video works well to demonstrate the, pro the tool. So we're gonna, let's create a brand new object here. And we're going to be in Stitch Artist. And as I mentioned, this tool, which when you put your mouse cursor on it and hover over it, it says is a three-point arc tool. This is in all three levels. It just may be located in different uh, spots on the toolbar. But that's how it works. That's how that's where it's located. So to use that tool, you select it one time. And because this is a drawing tool, remember that once you are done using it, you must stop using it by either right clicking or hitting the enter key. So it's a drawing tool. I'm going to put my mouse cursor in my hoop area and you see that it changes into the little three point arc tool. So I'm going to left click one time that puts the node and I am drawing that an invisible line to create that straight line distance that I had mentioned. So if I left click again, we now have the two points, one point, two points, and I move my mouse cursor away from the line and it pulls out a arc and it's perfectly symmetrical based upon that line and based upon where your cursor is. So if you move your cursor out further, you can see it turns into almost a balloon shape. If you move it in, it will create more of a scalloped shape. And if you move it to the other side, it goes in the other direction. So that, those are the two points. And the third time you click, it creates the arc and it gets rid of that invisible line. So we did one, two, three clicks. So I'm so that's the three clicks to create that arc. The last click is the first click of the second arc. So this would be, that was click number one, click number two, move my mouse cursor out, click number three. One is the red one that's already there. Two, whoops, let's move it out this way. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If I want to end it here, I can put my mouse cursor right on the green line to make that second click and move my mouse cursor out this way to create that third click. And I am done drawing. 
So I have to either right click or hit the enter key on my keyboard to stop drawing and that creates my shape. Now it's an open shape by default. Okay, so that's just something to, to keep in mind. Now, if I wanted to put it, I can put a fill stitch in it. It's usually very easy to, this is something if you, what I had done was just with the um, um, running stitch tools, but you can click on the fill stitch and fill it with a fill stitch. However, if you notice, we have some crazy line that shows up. Uh, shows up here and the reason is if we zoom in and take a look at that section can you see how the nodes are twisted here they're kind of touching and the software doesn't know what to do because that little node being a perfect shape it does gobbledygook in the area so we need to you would need to adjust it or just when you draw you need to pay more close attention this was a freehand shape now as soon as we clicked on the fill stitch tool it did automatically close the shape and because the nodes were on top of each other by clicking it only creates one node in this section so it is a closed shape but there's only one node here because those two nodes were right on top of each other okay so that's how the tool works in general how would you use it if you wanted to create say um a flower shape or something that has um scallops going around in a circle a little bit more evenly you can use your shapes fly out here so let me uh, use the polygon shape click hold and draw and i have this one i'm it's on fill stitch i need to change it back to artwork this is a nine sided shape. Let's do something a little simpler to a smaller number and make it, um, we'll do seven just to make it an odd number here. Okay, so if we have that, this shape, these are, this would just be used as a guide for our clicking. So again, I'm gonna choose my draw with three points, three point tool, and I'm going to put my mouse cursor on the point, left click, Next point, left click, drag my mouse out, left click. Put my mouse cursor on the next point, drag my mouse out, left click. Next point, drag my mouse out, and left click. Left click, 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 left click. Now, right click to end or hit the enter key. And if you take this original shape and hit the delete key, now you have your little cloud shape. However, if you notice, it's, it's not exactly even, perfectly even. Yes, you have the nodes on here, so you can adjust if you needed to make each shape more. But I was thinking, how could we do this so that it was perfectly even? Okay, so the, we'll move this guy up here. We're going to use our shapes fly out again, and I'm going to draw a little nine point shape here. Okay, whoops. Let me make it a little bigger so it will be easier to work. I'm going to move it over to the center. I would like to, I'm going to use this, and in fact, I'm gonna, let me delete this guy first. So I have it selected, oops, selected, hit the delete key. I wanna draw it perfectly even. So as opposed to just click holding and dragging, I am going to, when I have this guy selected, oops, let's go grab this one here. I'm gonna hold down the shift key as I drag, which means it creates a it's more symmetrical shape, okay? Now I have, that's my ring, like as if I had it here when I was doing the last one, and I want to make these petals even. So I need to make another shape. So I'm gonna, while this one's selected, I'm gonna hit Controls C and Control V, or if you're on a Mac, it's Command C and Command V, and that copies and pastes it. And while you have that second one selected, hold down your Shift key and resize it, that second one, so that it resizes evenly from center out. Okay, let me go a little bit bigger. 
okay? So now we have our two shapes so I can see where the outside edge needs to be. Hmm. So now I'm gonna draw my three-point tool. And just so that I can be a little bit more accurate on this one, I'm going to zoom in. And with using my three-point tool, I'm gonna to put my mouse cursor on the little corner, left click, on the next corner, left click, move it up to the edge, left click, over to this edge where the corner is, up to this edge, left click, over to this edge, Whoops, I, if, I, if I was not even exactly, I do want to hit the delete key because I want to get rid of that node so it backs up one space. So just hit the delete key one time while you're still drawing and put your mouse cursor exactly where you want it. Oh, I'm not being accurate today. Maybe I should look through the glasses, not over the glasses. There we go. Uh -huh. Imagine that works better. Okay, up to the line. Left click. Over to here. Left click. Up to the line left click over to here left click over to here the line left click over to here over to here and I'm all I'm doing is left clicking as I go put my mouse cursor right on the green one left click up here at the top left click and hit the enter key on my keyboard to stop clicking and now I can click off it, you can see it looks very much more even. These guys actually are just, were just my guides. So I can delete these and look at how perfect this is. Okay, so now when you assign your stitches to this, you have your perfect flower with the exact same petals that were going out to the outsides. Okay, kind of nice how that works. Oh, I should have showed you. Hold on, let me do control Z. Control Z, Z. There we go again, okay? The same thing would work <laughs> if you wanted your scallops to go along the outside, okay? So if you use the outside triangle and go onto the inside here. So three-point uh, corner. So if I move left-click here, left-click here, drag my mouse cursor till we go here, then left-click, drag to the line here, Left click, drag to the line there. Left click, drag to the line here. Left click, drag. Left click, left click, left click, left click. Left click. Hit the enter key on your keyboard and you'll have a different type of, of stitching, a different direction for your, your, um, that it, it, it's just, <laughs> it just makes the lines go in different directions. Anyway, I thought that was kind of neat in how we use that three point arc tool. So this was created using the, let's see if I still have the shapes here. I did, I hid them all. So if I unlock my shapes, you can see that for to create this shape, I had a small circle in the center and the larger circle on the outside. And when I was clicking and dragging, so let me change my thread color to, well, we'll just click, do this again. Um, I'm gonna use my three point tool. As I was left -click, click, clicking and dragging, I was going to left click at this point, left click on this point, drag all the way up to this inner circle. So that is how I created each one of those. And I continued going so that you have that complete spirograph type setting on that. So it's play with your margins as far as making your borders, making your scallops, going internal, going external. Using your flyout shapes is a great way of doing this. Um, and have some fun. Anyway, that's what I was playing with today, and I thought you would enjoy a, um, a nice little video on using your three-point arc tool in Stitch Artist to create scallop borders. Take care. Bye.